This lesson deals with supplemental problem 3.4. You can find this problem in the ECE 201 ebook in the chapter 3 supplemental problem on page 4. Given this circuit, could you solve for the mesh currents I1, I2, I3, and I4? In the chapter 3 notes, we have an inspection algorithm if we have a circuit that has only resistances and voltage sources. If we had a parallel resistance here, we could do a source transformation and we could use that technique. Since we don't have that, let's take a look at another idea that we talked about in the notes, and that was called the super mesh. So if we go around this current source, we have just voltage sources and resistances. We could write our mesh equations. And likewise around here, we could get two equations and the four unknowns. The remaining two are from the current sources themselves. So let's form those first. The one amp current in this direction is equal to I3 minus I4. The five amps in this direction is equal to I2 minus I1. So those are my two equations in the four unknowns. Let's go around the mesh. I'm going to sign a drop across the resistor in a clockwise direction like we did when we did the inspection algorithm. So the rise in voltage will equal the drop. So let's start here and we'll end here. So six volt rise, a drop of three ohms times I3, a drop of four ohms times I4, and then a drop of 10. And that's my third equation in the four unknowns. Bring 10 on the other side of the equation is minus 10, so we have minus 4, equal to 3i3 plus 4i4. I'm the same thing for super mesh 1, 2. Let's assign the drop in this direction and in this direction. Again, let's do the same thing. Let's go around the, the mesh. Let's just start here and let's go around in a clockwise fashion. Rise in voltage of 10, a drop of 1 ohm times I1, a drop of 2 ohms times I2, and then a drop of 6 volts. So they go around counterclockwise or clockwise, I'm going to put the rises on one side, the drops on the other. Bring the 6 on our side becomes 4, and we have I1 plus 2I2. Now we have our fourth equation and four unknowns. So our first equation was that 1 was equal to I3 minus I4. So we form a 4 by 4 matrix, column 1 associated with I1, I2, I3, and I4. So we have 1 that is equal to I3 minus 1 times I4. Our second equation was that 5 was equal to minus I1 plus I2. So here's the column associated with I1 and I2. So minus 1 times I1 and then plus 1 times I2 is equal to 5. Our third equation was minus 4 is equal to 3 times I3 plus 4 times I4. And then lastly our last equation was that 4 was equal to 1 times I1. So this times this and then 2 times I2 and then nothing times 3 and 4. We have a lot of zeros in here. It wouldn't be that hard to use Kramer's rule to solve for this. Or again, you can use your calculator. And I found that I1 was minus 2 amps, I2 was 3 amps, I3 was 0, and I4 was minus 1 amp. And this is supplemental problem 3.4.